Ah, Vietnamese food okay, takes on Gordon Ramsay's All You Can Eat Pizza Challenge. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, that's what we're talking about. The truth be told, on the day, I remember thinking, F*** now, this is so flat. But it appears to have gone rather well. Uh, uh, it seems to have done a million views, which makes it the, the, that's the most viewed video ever on my channel. And it's that's so far ahead, it's actually double the num <laughs> number two. I got drunk and just started sucking knobs. I'm gonna quote that, put that in intro. <laughs> <laughs> I got drunk and just started sucking knobs. <laughs> you better do it now. Hi, I'm Adam. And I'm Josh. And welcome back to the Break Your Brave podcast. Uh, I did prepare some eccentric introductory remarks, but uh, Josh is wearing a lot of aftershave this morning. I sniffed it and I think it just killed some brain cells or something because uh, I don't remember what I was supposed to say. But uh, thanks for coming back. Are people still coming back? People I think so, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what the stats looking like lately? Does anyone know? Uh, surprisingly, we seem to be like, I think we we're overtaking on the old uh, downloads on Spotify than we are on YouTube. The minute. fuck out of But tone. last week seems to have performed very well. How are you doing this morning? I mean, you smell, oh, that, that is too much, man. Like, can you, do you smell that when he came in? Like a cloud of... You can just tell he's been Jim. It's better than you, mate. You fucking smell like... I didn't put any deodorant on this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, natural. Uh, how you been? I'm good, mate. I've just been uh, listening to a bit of Buster in car there. Because uh, they played at Leeds Arena last night. I couldn't get any tickets. Oh, so it begins. Couldn't get any tickets. Couldn't get any tickets. No, I, I genuinely tried to get tickets. That would have been your wet dream, that show. Won it? I, when it's I was a kid, I... can't believe you this, like, live on air. When I was well, a kid, live, but... I'd have killed to, like, one, been able to play an instrument, and two, being busted. Well, can, can, do we, does anyone ever confirm whether the people in, apart from Charlie, the main dude, who was then in Fight Star, could the other people actually play instruments? So I always kind of thought it was like it's a bit of a front. They were they were made to look I like a, a kind of a diet pop punk band, but they weren't really. They just did pop songs, which were the most of to play, right? I don't know. Uh, I know the main I dude know. cooks. He was in that uh, that band Fight Star, right? Briefly, and in Busted, yeah. So I listened to a bit of that, you know, and uh, came in, saw Adam's smiling face this morning, grinning from ear to ear like a Cheshire cat. Almost like he's had the best performing video ever on his channel and he's found a new residence to live from. What a well, fucking week. What a week. <laughs> Round of applause, yeah. everybody. Audience. It, 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 Woo! Excuse me for those uh, sound effects, George. <laughs> uh, you jump in the gun there, Mix. I don't know that it's the best performing video ever because, I, as I said to you before, I don't. I never uh, look at views, usually for a few days anyway. All right. I'm, and I'm, I'm I thought just, it I'm might be fun. I'm just guessing. I thought it might be fun because I knew you would want to know about how many people had watched the video that your get your media productions um, had uh, had edited. I knew you'd want to see how many people had watched it. So I thought maybe I'd look while while we're on the uh, oh, can you, can you do a general? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was kind of trying to build up to it. I Go on, build it up build, until we'll I do that halfway through. All right. Okay. Um, and yeah, I haven't found anywhere to live yet. I just went to see a house. But you like it? Uh, yeah, I mean, but I'm not paying what it's worth. So Have you put an offer in yet? No, not yet. We'll see. We'll see. So, what do you like to see at the weekend? Were it Friday? Or Saturday? Or oh, you think it was Friday? Oh, yeah. Well, Friday, because you came in. Yeah, so on Fr I, I, you went to see it. I messaged you saying, what were it like? Did you like it? You took some pictures, sent them back to me. And I said, right, so you're going to put an offer in tomorrow morning? Because I thought, right, estate agents will be open on Saturday morning. <laughs> to which he replied, it. what did you, in fact, let me just double I said, I said, no, of course I'm not going to. That's like getting a girl's number at a bar and then texting her five minutes after you left the bar. You just don't do that. There's got to be some mystery. There's got to be some kind of, you know, you, got, you, you don't want to look too keen. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, because he's the same guy. I guarantee you when we record next week, he's going to be like, fucking hell, lads, that, that, <laughs> that house is gone. Somebody's put an offer in because he was trying to play it cool. I'm not getting attached to bricks and mortar, buddy. It's not, it's not I, I, I'm, I'm fine and dandy, right? As long as I'm going away soon again anyway. So. Where are you going? Uh, I've, I haven't decided yet. We'll find out. We'll spin the dice. I'm going to get one of those, you know, those little wheel, wheels that you when get are you on going? A, a wall. When you're away in like October or whatever. I'm not away in October. You Am I away in October? You told me you were away for like <laughs> the majority of October. Anyway, this is the discussion oh, for did, off yeah, there. Yeah, the okay. people listening to this don't care. Um, yeah, I'm going to get one of those wheels you know, with like countries on them and just spin it. Go, <laughs> lands on like Nicaragua or something like that. that. <laughs> throw them on a dart board. Oh, that, no, but I'm, like, lands on. I'm terrible at darts. It's the only thing I can't play at all. <laughs> we should do that on the podcast. We'll uh, we'll make a little board. George, can throw you do that? I'll end up in Mrs. Beard's head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were in good terms. You've got the uh, limited edition of the Kama Sutra. 
Yeah. She didn't, you know the funniest thing, right? She never watches my videos, right? Oh, no. She never watches them. And last night, she was watching a film <laughs> and it was terrible. She, she's there doing a fucking pretzel. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> Adam, let's have it. <laughs> you said it now. <laughs> She was, uh, we watched this film, which was terrible, right? So she got bored. Um, and uh, so I hear my voice coming out of the phone. I'm like, oh, no, come on. I don't like hearing my, contrary to popular belief, I don't like hearing the sound of my own voice. Um, but she watched it. And then I'm, I'm like, oh, shit, that part's going to come up where I mentioned the camera so for soon. I'm like, I just turned it off. Like, well, let's pay attention to the film. She didn't. And it got to that part. She went, oh, yeah, am I the butt of your jokes now? <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. Anyway, uh. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know, we're going anywhere with that? No, just, uh, I thought that. Thanks for everyone that watched the video. I don't know uh, how, uh, I feel is, like is, I, is this episode just a debrief of that I video? Think, honestly, I can't, I don't think you can make people wait that long. I think we need to know. I want to know how, how well it's done. It's got to have done good, hasn't it? How uh, will I know if he, Let's what's your favourite Whitney uh, Houston song? Favourite Whitney Houston song? <laughs> it came out of nowhere because I started singing that song. My favourite Bustard like song. Like I listen to her daily. Favourite Busted song? I couldn't tell you one bus is on. Uh, I only know uh, like the year what, what 3000. I got, yeah, classic. I was going to say what I got school for. So classic. I know. So you're, you're like the basically closet the same busted song. fans. They're, no, they're all basically just the same song. <laughs> do they even have albums? I don't know. All oh, the right. day I crashed the do, wedding, that do, was busted. Do the, uh, the, old drum, the old drum roll, George. Are oh, we revealing now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, apparently. Let's okay. Right, let's, let's set the tone. The right, right, food takes on Gordon Ramsay's All You Can Eat Pizza Challenge. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, that's what we're talking about. We did it. We sh I shot a video with a, which uh, we've done three this year now, where I commissioned a crew, a subpar crew, some might say, but you know they, they have um, some ability. And uh, yeah, we we did this video where I uh, was trying to beat the record at Gordon Ramsay's all, a bottomless pizza restaurant, right? Because they've got a board where they keep score for whatever reason, just for fun, I guess, of uh, the most slices eaten. And uh, naturally, when you do a video like that, you know it's a bit different. You're not really sure how it's going to go, but it appears to have gone. Rather well. Uh, so, uh, you, <laughs> That's why I'm not in a band. <laughs> yes. Some real rhythm there. Uh, yeah, it seems to have done. What, uh, what time is it now? To 10. Uh, 10, on my 10 48. 10 48. So when it's 12, almost 16 hours ago. Uh, it seems to have done 2.6 million views, which makes it the, the, that's the most viewed video ever on my channel. And it's that's so far ahead. It's actually double the num number two uh so that if you, don't, you there's no reason you wouldn't unless you make videos but on uh your dashboard when you log into create a studio it compares your last it ranks your last 10 videos at the current time frame since you uploaded right to give you an idea of how well that video is performing in terms of its view count um and number two so this is number one uh 2.6 million views number two is that that really tough burger challenge in canada yeah, yeah. and that this at uh, this same time Stage. frame uh, had done uh, 1.3 million, which is literally half. So well done uh, to get Madness. your media. Uh, you said in the chat as well, you said, uh, if it doesn't do as well as the cake video, I want full refund. I should have bet. <laughs> I <laughs> should have gone double or nothing. I hadn't even invoiced him yet. Although I did say to him. Don't I, you be, hey, I had no zeros, man. <laughs> I, I, put, I put a clause in his deal, George, right? I said, if it gets 10 million. <laughs> there is no deal. I, I said, if, if it gets 10 million views, we get a bonus. We get a Brucey bonus. So it's got to do four times this year. The fuck you do, and it might not even. You know, fuck you a, do. Lot, a, a lot of I think you fucking do. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot that can change twixt now and uh, you know some some weeks from now. So, um, it you know that. It, but I, to all the people that did watch, thank you very much. It really means a lot to me because that's. Well, your highest viewed video of all time is 11 million. So if it can beat that, that, I'd be impressed. But I don't. You never know. Can we have a bonus if it beats that? No. But that's like all time views. Fuck yeah, and if I'm giving anyone a bonus, I'm giving it to. Mike, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> I'm like your fucking full time put, put carer. Baby through school. He, he said to me, "I can't like, oh, do tomorrow in videos. I'm, I'm just sick to death of mess." So he messaged them. They didn't answer. Gordon Ramsay's pizza. He messaged that gaff down in Portsmouth. They didn't answer. Yeah. So I had to go to full care mode and start ringing around care restaurants. <laughs> yeah, so you could get a big wedge from me and you add a zero compared to all your other clients. I'm gonna add a zero then. You, you, I, I see. That, see what you're charging. Why um, all the other boys? Why are you not on trending? Fucking. Um, Damien's on trending. Do you want to just calm down a little bit? Go on, good for Damien. Has it been long enough to be on trending yet? Yeah, because Damien put one out at the same time. And he's a number 15 on trending with 88,000 views. Ah, good for Damien. What was it? Uh, what salary puts you in the top 10% in the UK? That's I imagine his salary. His salary. <laughs> yeah. Let's do the maths on 2.6 million views, shall we? Put the uh, calculations on the screen. I reckon it's about 40 quid. What do you reckon, Adam? 
It's more than forty pounds. <laughs> Thankfully, considerable. Forty quid that'd be done for. Um, well done, Adam. But yeah, to, to be sincere, and well done, second, George. Uh, yeah, thank you to everyone that watched the the the, the video. But it, it, that's kind of uh, shit. I would I would kind of wish that I, we had not done this podcast because normally. I, I I don't um I mean this episode at this point okay. in the week. Um, <laughs> we need to do normally, we missed last week. Let me fucking finish. <laughs> I, normally I don't look at the views that a video does. I've not done that for a long time now until pretty much right before the next episode is due to go up, unless somebody tells me and be like, "Bro, you're on trending, bro," and then I might find out. But uh, usually I don't because I think it's it's not a, a helpful, healthy behavior. I get that, but uh, in this case it's. Quite nice because it's done fucking loads of views. So thank you very much. Wait, yeah, oh, I've just realised we've completely with that out of sync with doing this podcast. We've we've completely got kiboshed what as uh, as order is. Shall we do the YouTube comments? <laughs> oh, YouTube comments from George. Hey, Whoa! What's going on? That come from? Is that where the, I've been trying that, to program is that where the, my the jingles going in this morning. My money's going. What's these sound effects? Whoa. I can't figure out how to put my own in, but it's got some built in. You put a USB like I know I've I've put it in there, but it doesn't seem to want to connect. Uh, I don't know why. Oh, so I've got <laughs> and crickets. That's going to come in handy. That yeah. definitely will come in handy. <laughs> right. The rest of shit. Let's do YouTube comments. It's time for a YouTube comment from you. Okay, so first comment from Kerry Webber. It's from the last episode. My Saturday runs are made so much more hilarious by listening to Josh trying to make Beard sound like he wants to be there. <laughs> I love the podcast. I love the Beard Meets Food videos. Don't stop. Ah, oh, thanks, Kerry. That, hey. that means a lot. Kerry, that, that lady on the plane last week had the Saturday runs. That's why she shit up and down the aisle. <laughs> Remember, you brought the video in? <laughs> oh, yeah, the <laughs> diarrhea plane. Yeah. Nice. Diarrhea of a CEO. Oh, <laughs> did you write that down? That was no, a great idea. So, someone said that should have been the title of the episode. Oh, <laughs> All right. No, maybe change, it should have been. the title. <laughs> uh, ben Flint says, at 27 minutes in, Beard says, I don't care about awards, in brackets, right by his shoulder, a big golden YouTube subscriber award. <laughs> I saw that one, but I think wait, if you if you let me address that momentarily, um, that's not an award. It's just something that you get. It's just an articulation of statistics. A recognition. It's, yeah, but it's not an award. Which is what an award is. No, yeah. no, it isn't. An award is something which is given to you based on um, your, I don't want to say, it's not based on statistical performance. It's normally, a, 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 depending on the award ceremony, you'd normally nominate it, not nominated <laughs> for, an award. like your best actor, you don't get it for just being a good actor, for doing so many films. That's just something you get because- Well, when you win a medal in Olympics, you're statistically the fastest on the running course. Yeah, but you compete against other people. So are you? Yeah, but I don't think that's what... Also, I might add, the most important thing, forget all that shit. I, I, this wasn't my idea. This is a duplicate. Josh wanted this here, so it looked like, you know, we know what we're doing. It looked all nice and fancy, and he really wanted to commit that's to why that I, gag. That's why I got mine. Yeah, so... I, we, still, not, we still need to change it. My house is on fire. I'm not going back for that thing. The one that I've actually got home. I could care less. <laughs> He's going to get that diamond one soon. He's on his road to diamond, diamond. Yeah. Uh, this video will get in there. What do you call it? You're like, joking, mate. That diamond thing. How much do you want them to get a replica of? We'll stick with them in the table. <laughs> I, well, they're not made from real diamonds, but uh, they're probably, uh, probably pretty, like maybe it's cubic zirconium. I don't know, I don't, maybe they're, they're probably expensive. I mean, like they charge you loads of money for that and they're not really worth that much. Yeah, it, is, it was heavy money. For, uh, you, the first one you get free, I should say, if you actually reach a million subscribers. But then if you want a duplicate, it's like 500 quid plus like 200 shipping or something. I don't know, but... Uh, that's by the by. Are there any more? That's it for the uh, standard YouTube comments. I picked Stand. out some comments from the uh, video that went on your channel. So we'll go through a couple of them in a bit. Ooh. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> what, so, George, you went out um, this weekend. Um, you put down your penis for a weekend and went to play out with your mates. What have you been up to? Can yeah, I say went, that? Went, I don't you, even know how he chew on the word penis into every it's, it's like It's almost like it's some kind of obsession for yeah. him, right? You're like, uh, you know, Jonah Hill's character in Superbad who draws those pictures yeah. of like yeah. big veiny dicks all day long. That's you. Yeah. I, yeah, but you've it's, got a collection at home. I just hope that none of my real clients ever watch this podcast, to be they fair. They do, though. It's the point. It's the point. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't, it did look like a, I don't say fun because I would never go camping. I hate it. It's not but, um, my bag either, to be honest. It was my friend's idea. Was it worth it for the gram? Because those pictures were pretty snazzy. Yeah, nice pictures. Yeah. Um, you using uh, Peter McKinnon looks on those or what? Because that's I'm feeling like you did. What you put didn't, like an Instagram? You didn't grade yeah, those did little Instagram posts. Some pictures. Did, did you grade yeah. those or was it? Uh, was yeah, it? Yeah, I did. Set them on my phone. Oh, on your phone as well. Yeah. This boy is just sickening. Talented, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking. But we had the. Uh, 
what was supposed to be a three man tent was a hundred percent a one man tent. Have you got have you got a public <laughs> bearing in mind my two mates are like six three, but both of them. Have you got a public um, um Instagram? Uh it might not be. Okay. Yeah, no, but I'm I'm gonna say people can follow him. Why? In his bio, he's put get your he's like tagged to people he works with or for. Get your media, Octagon, and Middleton's podcast, and then at the bottom breaking bread. Fuck out Middleton off. <laughs> right. I'm not I've not changed we're it for like, like, like a bottom. year. We're at the fucking bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I am shocked. He should and go appalled. Forget get your media. <laughs> I'll, go. I'll just get rid of Breaking Bread podcast and put a link to that video we've just done yeah. on his channel. Do that instead. Got a nice uh, nice colours on this Georgie boy. Nice little waterfall there. Yeah, well, I haven't nice. seen these. I like it. It was good. I oh, like it. This. I'm f- absolutely knackered though now. Cause that's yeah. like a, that's like an, an album cover for a boy band. Can we overlay this picture? Zoomed in like that of you <laughs> looking all like seductive <laughs> next to a lake. Yeah. Wow. All, all these taken on your phone. Yeah. Get in, lad. Very nice. So, what do you get up to then? Walking, drinking. Not much, really. To be honest, the campsite we were on had like facilities and stuff, so. Everything was kind of there that we needed. You take any narcotics? Did you do like a, um, a Paul Smith and take some like DMT or some mushrooms? You're trying no, to get him in trouble that far. Why? Because it's illegal, <laughs> eh? It's illegal to buy. It's probably not illegal to take, is it? It's it's illegal, like a loophole. How, how do you get them? You Fucking buy it off a drug dealer? In the middle of like wherever you was, uh, Snowdonia. I don't know where you can't. Yeah, but then you say my mate bought them. <laughs> Allegedly. Did you do any, <laughs> did you do any mushrooms? We should do that. We should go camping in. on the podcast. Take mushrooms. I'll tell you what, the last thing I'm doing a, is going camping with you. And if we did go camping, I'm keeping my wits about me because fuck knows what's going to happen. I'm not doing any kind of drugs. I'm probably not going to drink. <laughs> I have to be completely sober. It just mess about and like pranky the whole time. Yeah, we should. T- why don't we do like a? Uh... I once stepped to. Uh, I just told interrupt you. Then sorry, go on. <laughs> That's why people love this podcast. Coffee. We could do like an SAS who dares wins. We get Aunt Middleton to put us through his paces. <laughs> Imagine if we're that psychopath. <laughs> no, get I, the fuck out of bed, you I, hairy I, little prick! I, I couldn't have been in the army. I couldn't take that kind of. No, you, I couldn't you, be on the end of that. You know what I mean? Fuck me. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I was going to say something. <laughs> oh, motherfucker, this is decaf. Why are you so like you won't know twitchy and weird then? Oh no, it just says decaf on the thing. It's not checked. I think. Anyway, what were you going to uh, say when you interrupted me? I don't know. I've forgotten now. I said, "Why don't we?" And then you interrupted. Come on, I forgot. Let's I work through. I can't. It. I, can't, I, can't well, I can't go. Let's can't just say words. See if it brings it up. Ostriches. Penis. Penis. No, no I, I, I don't know. An I don't ostriches. Know penis. penis. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that video going round of that elephant that big willy hanging between its legs? No. <laughs> <laughs> Although, if we're gonna do like just shit that happened this week, if that's gonna be the segment, oh. um, I've got a picture. I thought I might share uh, two 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 talking points. First of all, I don't know. I'm, I'll send this to you, George, because it really you have to see it to to get the idea for it. But uh, Lindsay's dad, the in-laws, right? Lindsay's uh, dad is in a golf competition today and it's called Pink Day or something. That's the theme of it. That's what he went dressed as. Whoa. I'm surprised he even allowed that on a golf course. <laughs> Has he got a dress on? A skirt? I don't know what is. No, I think it's- Is uh, it a kilt? I think it's shorts. Um, he just kind of looks to me a bit like Elton John, like Elton John. He does look um, a bit like Elton John. Whoa. Yeah. It's, if you look at his knees, I think you can see Jesus's face. It's like, you know, when people make toast. <laughs> look, zoom in on his, zoom in on his knees. <laughs> in his defense, he is, a, he is a, it kind of looks like a cute little dog. Don't you think? A little doggy. You it does. It looks like a pug. His, face, his knee looks like a pug. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I'd share that uh, for the sake only of embarrassing him because he stopped cutting my grass in my garden. Has he, um... <laughs> I, don't, I can't do that. Uh, and the uh, the other thing I thought I was going to share is that uh, do you hear about the uh, the missing fighter jet that's on autopilot after a, po- a, a, a pilot ejected? No. So in America, this pilot ejected f- for some reason from a plane, but it continued flying on autopilot. And uh, the U.S. military has, has has asked for the the public's help <laughs> in locating this jet, which is currently still flying. Eighty dot eighty million dollar uh, fighter jet missing. Military officials are searching for a jet after a pilot ejected. The jet has not yet crashed and has continued to fly an autopilot. The public is asked to cooperate with military authorities. <laughs> what the fuck is Have you got a picture of the jet? Is there a picture on that article? It's a jet, it's, yeah, it's a jet, mate. Yeah, but I, I want to see the jet. That's the back end of it. I don't know why it's shot from that perspective. You can Whoa. just see the end of it. But the, the real question is, why did the pilot eject if it was still able to fly, right? Just like, fuck, I've had enough of this. Right, I've got an idea. 
we've all played GTA, right? We know to get, go get a plane. We'll jump from one plane, get into the cockpit of that, then we've got the best jet on the game. I mean, steady. That's that's just cause, isn't it? That's that's not GTA. You can do that on just cause, where you repel from a. It's been a while since I played it. it came out like 15, 18 that, years ago. Because that's the best plane you can get on Grand Theft Auto. What yeah. the fighter jet? The fighter jet. Yeah. Is that true? I think the new Grand Theft Auto is coming out as well. It's. I was thinking the other day, like it, it's mad that people still play Grand Theft Auto Five because didn't that come out old. like? I think it's more. Is it more than ten years? Feels twenty thirteen. Like it came out. Shit. I suppose it, there's, they just don't give a shit now. Are you game developers? I think I don't. I, I'm not much for gamers these days anyway. <laughs> well, they've but just they, been adding gets, stuff to the like the online yeah, get, instead. So they build like the basic engine yeah. of the game, and then they get loads of money from the little microtransactions, like oh, I'll buy a new skin where I've got a Hawaiian shirt or whatever, um, and that's how they make money. So I think it's all subscription based, isn't it? Now you get that's where they make all the money. Yeah, it's kind I of think, sad that I think I dig out the old PS5 or PS4. I guess I've got <laughs> old PS5. I think I've got a PS4. <laughs> Oh, I was going to bring a PS1 into the office. Yeah, you still oh, need to do that. that. I still got it at home. Bring it in. Yeah, play Crash Bandicoot. Street Fighter Alpha, and man. Some, that's my, uh, pointy that's my boobs. Favorite. Tomb Raider. Pointy boobs, Tomb Raider. Spyro. We could have a fucking right do. But yeah, I'll dig out the old PS4 and get the... Uh... <laughs> Sounds like a blast, that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Forget that trip to Amsterdam. We'll just play PS1 games. When are we off to Amsterdam? Uh, I don't know. When your schedule frees up, you talk... <laughs> Freeze up. You told me you were away all October. I'm not away. We're finishing off stage to the cage. So I just want to keep my diary free. Stage to the cage. Oh, come on. That's my. That was fucking perfect. That was a t- that was a 10 out of t- Come on, George. Was that 10 out of 10? <laughs> yes. That's close to the best Arnie I've ever done. I'm finessing it, man. I'm getting right down to the nitty gritty. Not that I spend much time practicing. Only like two hours a week or something like that. <laughs> but that's the plan. We're going to do stage to the cage in October. And then November... We've got the other thing that we need to do. Yeah, that other secret thing. It looks like Amsterdam's going to have to be... After, after, after that, it's works year. Christmas do. Yeah, we're getting a Christmas party this year. Come on, man. We need a party <laughs> this year. That was my chair. It's raining. No, it wasn't. It was, it was the rain. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to do that. I was down in Morley this week, actually, and there's like they do a comedy night <laughs> in Morley. We're not doing it in Morley. Were, I Where thought we it was pretty now. good, you know. Yeah, but I, I, like, I, I, it's, a, it's a nice little bar. You made there. me go to that bar. What's that bar next to us? Uh, Where they literally just sold cans of beer out of a fucking yeah. <laughs> lukewarm fridge. Beer 30, I think it's called. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like what the hell does this work? There's just like a little desk at the end, made uh, up, like plywood. And it, you're like, oh, you just get a beer from the fridge. What like, should we do for a Christmas do? What do you reckon? I think with, with 2.6 million views, I think Adam needs to be taking us somewhere. You can, you can I think fuck right off. I'm it. not paying for it. I think some I paid for it last it. year before. It was your company's Christmas party. Yeah, and you came on it. There ain't no beer meets food PLC <laughs> Christmas too. Yeah, but you've like, you're Did part I, of the I, team I, now. Yeah, but only because nobody else had come. Fucking Mike flaked <laughs> out. So I, I, I was like first reserve or something. <laughs> <laughs> you were invited. What do you want to do, George? I think part of it, we should do a podcast. Pissed. Yes. Oh, Pissed podcast. Man, that's, that seems like work. I'm thinking like, we should, don't we just get to this go. This feels like don't, don't we, just no, we, should, we should have like pre-drinks here in the office and then record a podcast. <laughs> yeah, I had like three, three, I had three sips of that mead and I were on my ass. <laughs> yeah. You had to drive me home. Pre-drinks. Pre's. I'd, I'd, that's like a new phenomenon. You didn't do that when I was a kid. Pre's. I'd, I'd, that wasn't Never. a thing when I was a kid. I used to be out at like five o'clock on a Friday straight after uni. <laughs> Straight through until like five AM. What do people do for for Christmas dues now? Go we on. are such a small. They usually you. Like, the only three of us. We need to like merge with another another group of people, don't we? Like a corporate Christmas do is usually pretty. Yeah, dull. yeah. There, are the, there are the I associates. Get like Mike along. Mike might come this time. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, we could get. Uh... Who else? Maybe Damien we, talks money. We invite Damo. Yeah, but he's a laugh right on the night yeah. out. <laughs> Mike Winnett. Mike Winnett. Game over. <laughs> Team. How many? We've got five people there. <laughs> Maybe we should do another live show. Get the fuck out of town, man. It's already busy enough coming at the end ah. of the year, man. <laughs> what about a meet? What, 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 let's do a piss up. Who wants <laughs> not to... a meet and greet piss up. Not a meet and That's greet. That's not a good idea. No. No. Like, it was very nice to meet everybody, but people <laughs> queued for three hours after the podcast show. so bad for those people. <laughs> Imagine queuing three hours to meet me. I know. <laughs> you get, That's the most underwhelming thing. You'd be like, oh. <laughs> that was a waste of three hours. <laughs> God bless him. Maybe we should do... Go bowling? That like, seems like a Christmas oh, activity. No. <laughs> bowling is one of those things that like, if you don't have a personality, you suggest bowling because then you well, have to talk to I, I hate bowling because you you go and bowl and there's like that really fucking awkward walk back. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Bowled. yeah. I was, we, you know, I, the one time I remember going out for like, a, you know, it's w- when I used to have a real job, we went out for like a works thing 
and they went bowling and I hate bowling, right? But by some miracle, I'm not like terrible at it. I just don't like it. But by some miracle, I bowled like an awesome game where I scored like 130 or something like that. Or something like, something really good. It was a total fluke. Like I just, I'd for some reason bowled really well. So I think they all thought it was like some uh, incredible bowler. A like, dark you know, horse. I, I wasn't, it was just a complete fluke, you know? I didn't. I what about like a, a poker night, a tournament, a, like a tournament in a, in a casino, they do a casino where you can sit at the oh, table. No, no, it's too much pressure. Or like an in, what, what, James like a, Bond? Like an internal poker night. I would if I could play poker. It's I not can, hard, is it? Play it. Like Texas Hold'em. I feel like that, that's a gateway. You suggesting poker is going to end up with strip poker. I feel like it's just going to be a natural. <laughs> yeah. All you can smell is fucking blokes' assholes in here because it's like four of us. It's <laughs> me and you play strip poker. Like, why was the smell be a, <laughs> You fucking smell now and I can, you put your clothes on. You know Imagine what? if you're like, I went, like, I, I really, like, when I put this on this morning, I, I, I completely forgot that I went for a really long walk at it yesterday. It was so sweaty and shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Poker though, that seems to have like... Are we actually talking about anything on this flipping podcast? We, we, you know what? Can we just go out, Can the Christmas thing do be just like we go out for some beers and maybe some food? Is that, is that like, is it boring to suggest just like go out for some I'd drinks? I'd say just a simple, just go out in Leeds. Yeah, why not? Why that? does it have to be complicated? Exactly, George. Hey, that sounds... <laughs> my, my friends what day we like can tell people to come? Uh, what people? Like, I don't know. That'd when, be a, a little, we'll just like throw it in on the last last podcast before Christmas. We'll be like, oh, we're going to be in Leeds on the 16th of December. Bye. And they just see who turns up. I like, see if people can, I'd be like, where's Wally? Looking for this fucking Wally, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, we talk about it, I think, today. We just like, when are we, when are we uh, stopping for Christmas? Christmas Eve? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Up till midnight, yeah. Poor George. Mate, he, to, he, he had to come capping and begging for a day off last week. Can I have a day off, sir? Can I have the day off? <laughs> we start, we're all self employed, yeah. We've, we've got. Yeah, what's the day off, man? No choice. I've, I, I, I think I've secured as a sponsor, by the way, for the podcast. I, I can't, I'll tell you off air. But one came in and I thought it were actually quite a funny product. And I thought, maybe this could be a good one. And I, I just like, they're like, what do you want? I went, a thousand pound. I just, threw, just arbitrarily. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't know. So I just said a thousand quid for They're never going to come back. And then the email back this morning going, can you do it in October? So... We might, if we get 50 more of them, we might get back to break even. <laughs> so expect it uh, in October, you might hear one of us doing an ad. You'll hear me doing an ad reading in mud in the background. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you just mute my audio channel. Yeah, you've got to skip You're it. You're not doing it, I'm not fucking doing it. I'll do it, but you're going to have to just breathe. Stay silent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, what else is going on? Then I should read some comments from that video. That seems like a sensible lot. I, I, can, only, I can only imagine there's be some... Horrible ones. Why have you brought them again? You know I, what? Though? I was saying to George they're before all we pretty good, to be honest. Are they? They're not all good. <laughs> oh, right. Speaking as a person that owns a channel, um, <laughs> but they, they, you do notice that we've done like three of those crude up videos now, right? And progressively, people are less reluctant. Or maybe it's just the people that left the negative comments have gone now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you later. But um, I think people understand this place now. You still got those people who think it's like a, a permanent change. I don't have enough money for it to be a permanent change. But um, <laughs> the, most people just understand it's like a bit of a special, right? Like just yeah. doing like a special one-off thing because it is required. You'll notice that it, that only happens when it's that type of video where somebody's going to be serving your food for a duration. You, you kind of, I think you need to do it that way. But anyway. It just keeps it moving, doesn't it? Right, go on, George. Have you got any? I picked some as well. So you'll, you go first. Yeah, right? yeah sound. Um, first one. Sound meat. Shiro9455. Fair play, Adam. Two million views in 10 hours. That's outrageous. You deserve it, man. Kudos. That is, it's, well, I don't know if I deserve it. It's out, it's, it certainly is outrageous. It's incredible to think that that many people... Watch it leaves me speechless, really. All I can say is, is thank you, I think. I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what more I can do. It, it's like a bizarre amount of people. Like, just because the funniest thing regular was, life goes on, you know, like, because you don't see those people. We're just, we're in here day after just recording the yeah. podcast in a shitty little studio in Mali. Well, I said to you, <laughs> it's literally falling apart, like, quite <laughs> literally. Rain coming in. Um, I said to you right in the, in the WhatsApp chat, I said, um, don't check it. Yeah. I, I never check it and we'll find out tomorrow on the podcast. But when I went back into it after, um, I was watching, like I said, a, a crap film with Linz and 15 minutes and I started replying to some of the comments. So when I did that, I noticed that after like uh, 14 minutes, it had done 71,000 views. And so I was like, when you consider that, that's like a full Old Trafford within the first 14 50. minutes oh my God. had watched it, which is which means people at least anticipate the videos going out, which is the biggest buzz to me. It's not really necessarily how many people watch or, or stuff like that. It's the fact that, 
people are like, almost as if it's a TV show. Yeah, people are coming back yeah, for yeah. it to come out, which is it's incredible, really, because you're such a paid. fucking knobhead. Like, I, know. Like, I can't believe people like it. The videos are dog shit as well. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the, the one, the, the the most recent one is, is technically very accomplished, but normally they're dog shit. So I'm 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 uh, I'm in debt to everyone for watching. It's, it's after we get a beard like this, is it? <laughs> what other comments we got? I thought well. Me personally, I found it mad because there's so many comments saying, oh, watching your videos makes me so hungry, makes me want to like have a pizza and stuff. It has the absolute opposite effect on me. Oh, I was yeah, but you've got stare it. I was like, oh God, I never want to eat pizza again. When, I, when we were filming it, I felt sick as a dog when he was on that fish pizza at the end, when you were wi- like, because you kept wiping it against, like wiping the oil up and eating it and then dipping it in your ice cream. And I'm like... It's also, I don't know if it's a tactical thing, but sometimes you eat with your mouth open, I think to aerate the food or something. And it's like, oh God. Just, it's, yeah, so the, the my must, moustache doesn't get caught in my mouth most. It's I so think. funny that people want to watch, like some, yeah. for some reason, watch it live. Uh, yeah. We filmed for two hours, two whole hours, and you got to see it all in 15 minutes. Like, <laughs> I think watch. people think they want to watch it uh, live until they watch it yeah, live, yeah. you know? I think that's more the thing. It's not, it's really not. I don't get entertaining. The most entertaining parts of videos like, like that, or like my own videos to me, are the, not the eating parts. It's the interaction with people and yeah. the, the little nuggets of, you know, caught uh, saying Josh's head looked like a coconut, a blows like yeah, coconut. It did though. It did, come on, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with his barnet that day. <laughs> and Tori uh, Mike in background. <laughs> Clap it. Yeah, the, the eating part was not, uh, I don't think that's ever, ever that interesting to me. So it's, that's the biggest mission to me is to try and make that seem interesting. I remember, it, I, what, I like, the truth be told, on the day, I remember thinking, fucking hell, this is so flat. Because, like, in two hours, like, you're trying to be objective and go, oh, is there enough there? And I, I, at the end of it, I'm like, I don't think there's, I don't know if there is enough because it's tough to say in it. Cause we'd been there for three or four hours at that point. Yeah, I, I was the same. I thought, I, I thought at the time I was like, I don't think it's as good dynamic at least as the cake video yeah. was. Um, but at the same time, it's, like, you can't control that. So many things that you can't control when you come up with the idea of a video, which is predominantly eating. Yeah. And you have to risk a lot. And like sometimes it's going to mean that you're going to get those moments like that bloke coming in in the cake video saying, I'm going to a funeral. Yeah. Which the fact that he was going to a funeral was not funny, right? But that little interaction was humorous, right? Yeah. And you get little things like that. And sometimes that doesn't happen. And a lot of the the uh, the geezer that did the the Scouse guy, the the yeah, the like manager. Or I mean, they were all Scouse because he's in Liverpool. <laughs> but like, the, the, yeah, the man, he was he was played ball. But some people aren't really that. They're not. They're not necessarily enthusiastic or no. He were top, top out, outgoing, top but top yeah. But like, had he not been there, it would have been a lot worse. I think. Yeah, because the lady. That was the manager and the chef both didn't really want to be on camera. So yeah, you got uh, like, you got to respect that. So yeah, yeah. I think you yeah you just run that risk. You just you got to go with it. And if it's a bad video, it's a bad video. You, yeah. you can do anything about it. So um, nah. we did have a comment saying fair play on the guy for bringing variety and not deliberately trying to ruin your chances and being quick on the swap too. Is he joking, man? Do you remember the spicy pizza? I saw somebody yeah. say that. Oh, they had you back there, babe. They really wanted you to win. I'm like, you fucking joking. <laughs> like the pizza's got bigger. And B, they the, uh, brought that one with the chili flakes on, which and to be fair- fresh pizza as well. Yeah, but I, I, I did, to be fair, I you just said that. Oh, yeah. Make me what you want. Just leave Hawaii until last. So. And that was nice. That was, the sad thing is that was the nicest one. That was the last one I was- yeah, I didn't really want to eat too much anymore. He had a few comments as well saying, everyone thought Gordon was in the video. The thumbnail was total clickbait. Right, look, man or woman, if if you looked at that thumb, that Paul, like that's not even photoshopped. That's a that's a crudely constructed uh, image on an app, which clearly is not Gordon Ramsay. Right? If you thought that was Gordon Ramsay, you need to go to Specsavers. Right? You need your eyes testing. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> Plus, if you're gonna accuse me of clickbait, there's about fucking six thousand channels far ahead of me in the list. So go sort those people out first. <laughs> What else we got, George? And another comment saying, I genuinely enjoy your interaction with your film crew. So wholesome. Need more of these type of videos. Oh, that's a good one. That makes it all worthwhile, stuff like that, you know. Another one, Beard and Gordon is the collaboration we desperately need. <laughs> you said when we were there, didn't you? You were like, oh man, I hope he comes in like he's just going to fucking walk in. <laughs> nah, I didn't think he was going to come in. <laughs> like, imagine if he walked in and just called you a, a Yankee, Yankee dude or fucking, I don't know why he couldn't call me that because I'm, like, I'm not from America, but you know what I mean? It's one of his famous quotes, right? <laughs> In other words, imagine Gordon walks in and sees you dipping a slice of pizza into a sticky toffee milkshake. <laughs> You're going to be honest, he, he does reactions to on his Instagram and that. I reckon that's got to be coming at some point. He does reactions? Oh, what, to like... Uh, to like people's cooking he'll and probably, stuff. Yeah. Uh, he'll probably like duet one of your fake TikTok accounts. Yeah. <laughs> I see, yeah, probably ta- you. Ta- tag the shit, the, the, ta- tag one of the <laughs> other TikTok. Somebody messaged me this morning saying, Beard, can't believe it, your TikTok got suspended. I'm like... 
No, somebody pretending to me got suspended by me asking for him to delete it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was... Uh, is, are, there, are there more? I feel like I'm just feeling dead yeah, air yeah. by talking here. Uh, can we talk about how good of a deal that is, though? 17 smackaroonies for two hours of bottomless food is crazy and probably good quality ingredients since Gordon's name is on the place. It was decent. It was decent pizza. Somebody, somebody uh, tweeted me saying like, uh, and tagged Gordon Ramsay saying like, this look, this pizza looks shit. Two out of ten. Can't believe you. I'm like, I thought it looked na- really nice. It was nice pizza, and you didn't fucking eat it. How can you? <laughs> how can, you say it. You try to be contrary for no reason. Like it was, it was a good pizza. The one that I didn't enjoy was a, uh, the I didn't enjoy the spicy one that yeah. much because it's spicy. The fish one, I was like, yeah. We had a couple of slices. They were good of one. Uh, before it started, the made us one, and uh, it was it was actually really nice. Seventeen, and like you said, but I think realistically, like it's like seventeen pound. What you're gonna, you're probably gonna only be able to eat one and a bit. Sometimes you pay like good. between twelve and fifteen quid just for one pizza, though. Right, yeah, That's yeah. Seventeen quid for as many as you want. I did say that to be fair. Somebody said, "Oh, is this a good deal?" I'm thinking, well, you pay like eighteen quid for a scabby Domino's, don't you? So like, yeah, I thought. I mean, I think it's good. I think it's more though in London, isn't it? I think we start. Don't we? It's like thirty quid or something if you do go to the one in London. Is that what I said on the website? I think. Yeah, yeah. So go to the one up north, you know. Yeah, go to Liverpool on um, Bread Street, Beard Street. Yeah, but it was. Should I rename it Beard Street now? <laughs> I got. I've got a comment here on. Uh, I, I saw this this morning. Uh, I just dislike the editing style when you film with the crew. <laughs> uh, it's like it's marketed towards a much younger audience. Still leaving a like and a comment for the algorithm since these crew uploads are few and far between. <laughs> Well, you know, the first thing I'll say about that is don't feel the need to like and comment for the algorithm. I couldn't give a fuck, mate. I mean, like, I'd, if I'd cared about that, I'd ask you at the end, you know, like those, they still do that, those gaming channels. Oh, if we get 10,000 likes, yeah. I'll shave my nuts. Uh, I don't, if you like We it, should do that. Just tell <laughs> that you, And this week's one's by Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be giving them any free promo. <laughs> Bleep uh, that out, George. <laughs> I mean, I pre- thank you. Thank you for still watching the video, but um, you don't, if you don't like it, don't, you don't feel, don't like it. You know, you don't, I, doesn't matter to me. Like it if, if you like it if you like it. And I don't care if you click like. If you comment saying this is good, I prefer that than a click. I don't. You know the algorithm doesn't concern me. Uh, we, I, there's another one here from someone called Jade Ponce. Give the cameraman my number. I knew you'd put that one in. But, there somewhere. hey, that, that must have been real. Josh. That's real. Look, that sounds like a made-up name. I'm pre- predominantly because of the second part of it. Um, <laughs> Give the cameraman my... No, that's definitely like a burner account or your mum or something. <laughs> it's got to be. Or it might be for Blue It. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could be for Blue It. Could uh, be. Another one from uh, Teori. Um, whoever edited this needs to chill on the amount of cuts. It's overwhelming. Uh, yeah, George. George, don't take, don't take that to heart. Uh, I, I thought it was perfect. Damn. I, I did screen... You told me a screenshot what's, of you. What's their channel look like? <laughs> 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 don't take it so personally, George. Come on, man. Um, I did screenshot a few, but it looks like you've got enough for for. No, no, we'll but, get yours in a second. Another one from Leonard, some from some other bits and bats after it. Uh, not of the, not a fan of the new style with camera people. <laughs> That's the new, like, the, what do you mean new style? That's the thing that, the only thing that, no, if you want to be, if you don't like it, that's cool. I'm like perfectly happy for you to say, if anything, it's a compliment to me if you say I prefer the normal ones because yeah, yeah. I make those and I edit them, right? So I, I don't mind that, but like when people say, oh, I hate the new style, like at, on the last ones, a few people were like, right, I, I, if this is what it's going to be, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out. Like it, I'm it, it's not a permanent change. The bit is, we're nine months into the year now, and we've done three of these. When it's a necessity, this type of video, I would like people to understand that sometimes it's a necessity. To do that, that video, if I wanted to do that, I could not have executed that myself. In the, or I could, but it wouldn't have worked. Right? Yeah. Uh, so I, I only do it, I don't do it for the sake of like, there's no, I, I've got to spend money on this, right? There's no vested interest in me doing it other than trying to make something more compelling and, and, and better. So it's not going to be a permanent change. I'd love for it to be actually, because I then I have to do fuck all, <laughs> but then I'd have nothing to do with my life, right? So it's just now and then. So if you don't like them, um, I normally put up in comments saying it's a crude video and you can normally tell within yeah, you 10 put, seconds. You put like a big spiel about yeah. them. Yeah, so yeah, if, you, just don't, just cl- if you click on it and you see the, the a crew in there, just don't watch it. It's you not see my, take it you see my face. God, I'm, I'm not there this week. <laughs> I'm out. Uh, so w Murphy. This, I thought it was an interesting comment. He seems to be testing production teams for a potential Netflix show, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Is that real? I swear to God, yeah. <laughs> well, it's been the same production crew every time. And uh, no, I'm, it's not, I'm not doing anything for a Netflix show. Somebody put... Um, 
<laughs> oh, Dennis A. Wanker. I just farted. That was the comment. I just farted. Yeah. Oh, thanks for letting us know, mate. Um, sweet Jesse, the scoundrel Scott, supposedly. That sounds like a wrestler's name. Pineapple makes your man juice taste good for the ladies. Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> Like, do we have to take it there? So it always has to go down a rung, doesn't it, you know? Yeah, this is your audience, mate. I've got a comment to break up those go on, horrible ones. <laughs> <laughs> What's really funny is that the top four are only within a handful of slices and Beard took the top spot by 10 slices. Yeah, but I've got to say, like, props to who... I forget the guy's name now. I did see it on the video, but uh, the guy that Ben's had... Bensworth Drummington. That was That's the guy the with the... Oh, right. No, I meant the dude that had the record at oh, 38. Because right. that's some, some going, man. Uh, 38 slices is, is, uh, cause it's not, it's, it's kind of crispy. People are like, oh, you know, it's thin, it's easy. That makes it harder. The, the, the wetter the pizza's got, um, the, the easier it, it, it is, you know, when there's more stuff on top of them, basically. It's, moist. They, they, yeah, they're, they're moist. I was trying to avoid that word, but they, yeah, they're easy to, to, to get down, even though they are like heavy. Um, so <laughs> this, I like this one. Uh, this is from Kai W. 210, please don't turn this into a TV production. I know it's fun to try, but personally it takes away from the realness and the charm of the channel. Great job, love your work. So that's, that, that's all right. Like, you know, that, that's not something that you, that's a compliment really to me because it tells me that that person likes my videos more than one shot with a crew at serious expense. But we, it's not, it's not, we're not trying to, if I don't, you probably don't listen to the podcast, but we're not, I'm not trying to turn it into a TV production. There are just some concepts of videos that require a crew. This is a good one I thought you might like. Your crew is fine from uh, Chosen to Kill 6148. <laughs> and it got two likes as well, that comment. There we go. Yeah. Old so, coconut head, Josh. Uh, <laughs> I'll definitely watch and enjoy the crew videos, but just wish the constant cutting to different camera angles could be toned down a bit. Uh, it goes on. But I didn't think it was... I, I mean, know. like I've seen a lot that on mm. YouTube that is relentless, that some of them. I yeah, didn't think it's... Cuts. I think it was, to me, it, it, it felt dynamic enough, but not too... I say it's, it's to move the thing along, it? Like, we yeah. said, two hours of filming. If, honestly, if I hadn't changed camera angles as frequently and moved on, it'd have been long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, the, and you said, oh, try and keep it at 15 minutes. That's yeah, like, task. George, you've got 10 out of 10 from me. Don't, don't listen to any of these. <laughs> um, I love the crew c content. NGL. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Sorry, Down with the kids, see? I'm, I'm too old to understand Close these acronyms. Yeah. Me and George, same page. It adds a lot to the production quality. I agree. I prefer your crewless videos with the voiceovers, but then I also like pineapple on pizza. So there it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the man that understands that everyone has an opinion. and Different tastes. Opinion, yeah, exactly. Uh, I wonder how many clicked on your video because they thought God and Ramsey was in it. <laughs> People that need to go see an optician. Uh... I have <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what, what fucking roof just came in? <laughs> <laughs> right, these are the uncomfortable pause. <laughs> I haven't liked the editing on any of the videos you haven't edited. Cheers, mate. Max Coomba, thank you. But this one's much better. But this one's much better. Gives vibes much like your typical style. I thought this was identical to the cake video, basically. Yeah. Slightly different to the chicken wing thing. The jokes were even the same at the start. Yeah, you said the same. With the stretching. I do have a video. Uh, I, I do have an ep uh, uh, a habit of repeating uh, <laughs> of naff jokes, basically. That's kind of my thing. Uh, you are an idiot sandwich. I personally don't like the style of this video. I picked all the negative ones. But it, <laughs> so might, it might appeal to the masses with all the cuts and editing. Whatever makes your channel bigger is a good thing. That's actually not true, Stefan Sam. It's what... Uh, appeals to the majority of your audience that's a good thing not just making your channel bigger if you have a start channel that might be uh, some useful advice for some, you some tips uh, yeah I think the I, I did get loads but they're, they're pretty much identical I think um, <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry I felt it was way overproduced sorry mate sorry for putting some effort in you know I'll do the next one like rate my takeaway video <laughs> we'll go out shooting on a fucking Game Boy camera you know it's plug, <laughs> plug in ones just to get on top of your Game Boy <laughs> And they're in like 16 bit. It's proper tough, isn't it? Like you go all out, try to make it look as clean as possible. And then, yeah, like some people like that rawness. So it is what it is. Yeah. The views don't lie. Can we have a wee break, please? Can I have a wee break? Right. What should we do, Josh? What should we finish on? 
first saw, but can I, I have actually just thought of something. Did you see, did you, <laughs> did you see that video of, um, it was Tommy Fury and his dad. And we already spoke about this. And then KSI is like this really like passion, like this, like he's trying to be intimidated on this speech where he's a bit yeah, like WWE. Have we already spoke about this? Is yeah. what he says like, I go and in the Victoria's gym. Secret. I know Victoria's Secret. I'm is that, the man that can see John Cena. Is that really All that shite. I don't get that one. What's have we spoke, we have spoke, but then this, this uh, Tommy Fury and his dad just laughing at him. You don't get that one. I don't get the John Cena thing, but I don't watch wrestling. Because his catchphrase is, you can't see me. Goes like that and says, you can't see me. That's his catchphrase. Just so, uh, if anybody, did, I was, I was, we don't have a camera on George and did this. That, that doesn't even make sense either. You can't That's see. his thing. That's more nonsensical than going, who's <laughs> going to eat loads of food. <laughs> Anyway, I saw two comments about that saying you give them, you give them two in that episode. Yeah, well, I've been slacking, right? Two, let's get it. If you caught all the fucking takes we did of that intro, it'd been about seven. <laughs> <laughs> Running to rock that, that woman, like, I said, do you want to go in because we're filming? No, nah, you're not right. I'll wait till you meet till you finished. I'm like, you'll be waiting a while. We need to, like, one day when he's retired, we'll just release, like, what he's actually like <laughs> when he's not in character. <laughs> He's like, please just go in. Please. <laughs> go in the fucking restaurant. That, that's not what I was like. I said, would you like to go in? Because I don't want it to be waiting there for what could have been 50 minutes. Well, I, anyway. And then the dog starts barking. Shut up, and George. Run the st- fucking festival. Eventually he starts talking and fucking sun comes out. The, co- the, the heavens open. Anyway, should we do a festival? Let's do a festival. It's time for a festival coming from you. Adam, <laughs> Adam, come here, mate. Come here. Come here. The fuck off. Give me your house. I'll, I'll <laughs> smell like Give me S- Sauvage or whatever Lad. fucking Johnny Depp house at, fucking perfume you're wearing. Look how sad he is. I'm happier than you and you, you just go to two and a half million views. When I always right? what happens, you both yeah, come like, in jo- in different jo- moods and then they switch. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when I came in this morning, I was I was skipping around. Yeah, what a nice day it is Wanted today. to suck my know? dick and everything. And now it's, it's almost like, it's like pathetic fallacy. Like uh, you start talking about dicks and, and knobs and body fluids and then like the heavens open. It's like, uh, now I want to go home. Wrap, <laughs> it, wrap it up, George. What's right. it, what was it? Fessel number yeah, A, one. Number one of three. <laughs> Recently rented out our spare room to a student at a nearby uni. Husband and I both hate his fucking guts and how loud and messy he is, but I can't kick the prick out <laughs> because he'll spill about the time I drunkenly sucked him off while my husband was on holiday. <laughs> Whoa. That took a turn. <coughs> I, I, did, I didn't see that coming. That, that came out of left field, didn't it? Uh, Whoa. Why would you get drunk and then give somebody like I, I could maybe understand it from the level of you got drunk and you wanted some sexual favors, but <laughs> giving them out like I got drunk and just started sucking knobs. Maybe that's like a thing. Maybe that's what she likes to do. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that. Put that in the intro. <laughs> <laughs> got drunk and just started sucking knobs. <laughs> you better do it now. <laughs> well, you do, what might protect me there is if you want that to be monetized. If you do that in the first thirty seconds, you're done for. Fuck, lad. Do you understand how much money this, this podcast makes? It, it took money to get demonetized. <laughs> Minus sixty thousand. Oh my god. And you probably compromised that brand deal. We've got, we've got a sponsor coming. It's fine. I'll cover it. <laughs> I love yeah. how you arbitrarily picked a grand. Oh, I don't know a grand. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I was like. I thought that seems expensive. <laughs> I'll just throw that out there. <laughs> uh, I, I'm saying, tr- by the way, I'm saying that's definitely true. Well, could be true. Right? Yeah. Could be. We'll it's like that know. scene from Step Rivers where it's, it's like, she's had the old, what, what, what's the quote? Now she wants the young book from a chest pube down to my ball throat. <laughs> You've I've Rivers? seen Step Rivers. I don't remember that quote, but yeah. <laughs> He's only about shagging his wife. Anyway, next one. Upstairs on the bus, seat cushions could be lifted out of their frames. As kids, we used to lift them out and jump on them to snap the wooden board underneath and make a loud bang. All fun and games until the bus driver had a heart attack and drove the bus through a Neto's shop window. (laughs) 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 All fun and games. What, vandalising properties, fun and games? That's what you used to do as a kid? On school buses, it was just carnage. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when I was in school, I always remember like this one time, all the, like the kids just going for whatever reason, maybe it's Friday afternoon, whatever. Kids just going mental on this bus, and the bus driver just going fucking crazy, man. And he was like ma- me- mega intimidating as well, right? Not like a quiet bloke. He's like fucking shit, and then like him speeding home at about fifty miles an hour in like a twenty area. <laughs> and one of the he's like, right, I'm calling the police on you, you especially to this kid that was like, you know, the conductor of it all. And he's like, right, fucking see you, lads. Bashed the, like the fire door, <laughs> the and just fucking jumped off. Like did about fifteen rolls, and just went. <laughs> out the back window. I went to a really quite bad school. So. <laughs> you just reminded me though of the, pre- of the previous festival. Did you see that video that went round? It's like an easy jet flight and two people got caught shagging in toilets. Oh uh-huh, yeah. Did you see it? You wanted to bring that up on the podcast, didn't you? I think that seemed like 
a publicity stunt to me. Nah. What from like Easy? We're Easy Jet. Why would Easy Jet open the door and and want people to film that? Ask yourself that question. It might have been a brain fart from the air steward. Yeah. I no, I think that was contrived. Not necessarily by EasyJet, like the top end people, but uh, I would How, suggest it's contrived. Like on an EasyJet flight, so let's say it's short haul, they're going to like Prague or, or something like that. I can barely have a piss in that toilet. Like when I go for a wee in that toilet, I'm stood up like back like this. Yeah, I'm like that. Like I'm how pretty, can I'm small? Yeah, I, I'm, what? Like you can't wait ninety minutes. The minion as well. It's, it's the whole thing of they want to be in the Mile High Club. The they want to say that's that. not a real club. Like but, if that were a real no, club, where they give you little fucking, it. they give you little badges or like a little award or something. All right, fair cop. <laughs> it's not a real thing. That like, why, that's crazy. It's more just for, for people, people to say that they've done it. I think. Yeah. Who fucking yeah. cares? I don't give a shit where you fucking fornicate. <laughs> he, can't be asked, he can't be asked dragging on his sofa <laughs> or his bed or at all. <laughs> Outside the bed's adventurous for me, like these, especially these days. <laughs> and the, the, another video came out where you saw them actually going back to the seats and like, they're like sort of like waving and sort of like got into it, got into it. They don't even look that embarrassed. Fair fucks to him. Fair fucks. Hey, boom. come on. Okay, last vessel. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> My girlfriend wanted me to tie her up, which I did. I joked about leaving her there and going to the pub. So I went outside and accidentally locked myself out. I had to break the door open and it cost me 125 quid to have a new lock fitted. We don't do bondage now. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> I that's think that, that could happen. That's not a movie. Uh, what were you going outside for? To, to joke, to, to joke, commit to the joke. Oh, right, okay, or something right. I'd do that. You commit to the joke, but then oh fuck. The guy stood outside me, you can't get out. It's like what's what's that movie, uh, the Stephen King thing? Uh where Carla Gugino's in it and she's tight with bed, then her husband has a heart attack. They're, they've got like a struggle in marriage. Oh yeah. Trying to inject uh, what's the name of the film? I can't remember, I've seen a trailer for that though. Fifty Shades of Grey. No, oh, shit, man. Uh Google it. We've got elevator I'll music on that thing over there. Google. No, I'll have to, I'll have to I need, get it I need to know what that is or it's going to bug me. I feel like I'm getting some degenerative brain condition so I keep forgetting stuff. I admit it's meaningless stuff that I don't need to know. <laughs> like uh, how much to pay Josh, what is it again? Like 300 quid for <laughs> that video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just give me the first letter of it when you find out. Okay. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> we're going to let like the rain that's just what this, That's what this whole episode is. Give me some ASMR. That's what this entire podcast is, just rambling amongst is ourselves. Gerald's game. That's it. <laughs> you said give him the first letter. Sorry. Oops. Yeah, I thought it was going to be, I thought it was like Howard's <laughs> Way or something. It was close. Have you drove, <laughs> Howard's Way. <laughs> have you drove here in the Figaro today? No, I fuck, that was a joke. All right, Although the Tesla's uh, playing up again this morning, it's limited to 58 miles an hour, so we better not, better not go home on the motorway. <laughs> I've got uh, Adam's my Uber driver because I'm going to the big smoke this afternoon. Going down to the capital. Yeah, take PayPal, so you're all right. <laughs> Is that it then? That's it. We've got another one in the bag. Another one in the bag. I'm oh, pretty tame this week. I yeah, that was a shocker. I call it. Fortunately, in a week when my my YouTube video is one of ten, I'm going to call that for the podcast a ten of ten. But yeah, you <laughs> yeah. just got to go with the punches, haven't you? Thanks for listening slash watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.